In this video, we're going to talk about Cauchy-Euler equations. So Cauchy-Euler equations. So here's an example of a Cauchy-Euler equation. x squared y double prime plus 3xy prime plus 2y equals 0. So the reason this is a Cauchy-Euler differential equation is because the power of x matches the order of the derivative. See, here the power of x is 2, here the order of the derivative is 2. Here the power of x is 1, here the order of the derivative is 1. Here you can think of there as being an x to the 0, and you can think of y as being the 0th derivative. So that's what it means to be a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. Here's another example x cubed y triple prime minus x squared y double prime equals zero. This is also a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. Here the power of x is three and the order of the derivative is three. Here the power of x is two and the order of the derivative is two. So in this video I'm going to give you the steps to solve a Cauchy-Euler differential equation and we'll do a simple example. So these steps are for the following differential equations. So steps to solve. Let's say we have uh, an order two differential equation. ax squared times the second derivative plus bx dy dx, that's the first derivative, plus cy equals zero. Okay, so step one. So some people uh, memorize the characteristic equation or the auxiliary equation. I like to do it from scratch every time. So step one would be to let y be equal to x to the m. So we're assuming that our solution has this form. Then what you do is you take derivatives, so you differentiate it as many times as needed, okay? And then you plug into your DE, so plug into the DE, and then you solve for M. So solve for M. So in this case here, in this specific example, um, what you would do is you would take the derivative twice and plug it in, right? And then you would solve for M. If you do that, you would end up getting AM M minus 1 plus BM plus c equals zero. So this is a quadratic equation. And then you would solve it. So some people memorize this equation. Again, I like to do it from scratch. So when we do an example, you'll see we'll start with this. We'll take the derivatives and we'll just plug it in and go. All right, step two. So when you solve the quadratic equation, you have three possibilities. So the first possibility is that you get distinct real roots. So if you get distinct real roots, say m1 and m2, then the solution is given by c1 x to the m1 plus c2 x to the m2. Okay, this should remind you of um, solving equations like, you know, y double prime plus y equals zero. When you did these, uh, you had distinct, sometimes you would get distinct real roots, except you would have e. You would have e to the m1, and then you would have e to the m2. Same thing, except here it's not e, it's, it's x. So that's the first case. So distinct real roots, you get uh, distinct powers of x. The second case is if you get a repeated real root. Repeated real root. Say m. In other words, we have some repetition, right? We have repetition. So in this case, you would get y equals c1 x to the m plus c2. And whenever you get repetition, so before when we were solving homogeneous equations, we would put an x. It's very similar, except this time we put an ln x. So it'd be x to the m times ln x. I put it in the back, but you can also put it over here in the front. So whenever you have repetition, you multiply by ln x. Sometimes um, if the multiplicity of the root is higher, you have to keep um, multiplying by ln x. 
For example, if it was multiplicity uh, 3, you would have plus c3 and then x to the m ln x squared. 3. The last case is if you have uh, complex conjugates. So complex conjugates. So in this case, the formula would be y equals, oh, let me give you the conjugates, alpha plus or minus beta i. So in this case, the formula would be x to the alpha, okay, x to the alpha, and then c1 cosine beta ln x plus c2 sine and then beta ln x. And that's what you would get if you had uh, complex conjugates. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do uh, maybe just one simple, simple example. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. Ex means example. So solve. Solve. How about x y double prime plus y prime equals zero? So this is a Cauchy-Euler differential equation in disguise, right? Because if you multiply the whole thing by x, you get x squared y double prime plus x y prime, okay? And that would be equal to zero, okay? So in this case, it is Cauchy-Euler because the power of x matches the order of the derivative. The power of x matches the order of the derivative. Okay, so our first step is to start by letting y be equal to x to a power, so solution. So we'll start by letting y be equal to x to the m. This is really easy to differentiate. You just use the power rule. So for the first derivative, you just bring the m down, and then you subtract 1 from the exponent. So m minus 1. That's a really weird looking x. Okay. Then we have to do it again because we have the second derivative. So y double prime. This time we bring down the m minus 1, and then the m, and then we get x to the m minus 2. Beautiful stuff. All right, now all we have to do is plug everything into our DE and solve for m. So we have x. And then plugging in y double prime, that's m minus 1, m, x to the m minus 2, plus y prime, that's m, x to the m minus 1, equals 0. Did that kind of fast. So this is our y prime, that went in there, that's here. And then this is our, our y double prime. We can combine these. Usually after you plug this in, there's some simplification. So you want to group together the x's next, okay? So 1 plus m, minus two, plus m minus 2 is m minus 1. So this will be m minus 1, m. You can add the exponents. So it'll be m minus 1, right? Adding these exponents gives you m minus 1 plus m, x to the m minus 1. And this is equal to 0. Now what you can do is factor out uh, your x, your x to the m minus 1. So x to the m minus 1, this is m minus 1, m plus m equals 0. Now you just divide by this. This just goes away because you could divide by it. So you would get m squared, distributing, minus m, and then plus m. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. The m's cancel. So you get m squared equals 0. So m is equal to 0, and this has multiplicity 2 because it's repeated twice. So multiplicity 2 because it's really m minus 0, m minus 0, right? So it's really m minus 0 squared, right? So it's a repeated real root of multiplicity 2, and that root is, is 0. Okay, so that means our answer is going to be y equals c1 x to the 0, right, plus c2, and then it's repeated, so we have to have ln x times x to the 0, okay? So at y equals c1, plus, and then we just have C2 ln x. And that would be the solution to the differential equation. So I hope this video made sense. It was kind of long. Um, uh, in the videos that follow, you'll find more examples. That's it.